<laughs> and 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 I want to ask a question about this. Uh, you know, you know, in in when people have the hatred and anger, yeah, you know, they can be very unjust about uh, towards these people. Sure. And and you know, they can really inflict all kind of injustice on people whom they feel really enmity. Yes. So, but in actually, it's not like this in Quran. In Surah Maida, uh, the, the the Allah says, "Oh, you who believe, show integrity for the sake of Allah, bearing witness with justice." Do hmm. not let hatred for a people inside you into not being a just. Be yes. just that is closer to faith. Heed Allah alone. Allah is aware of what you do. This sure. moral, moral integrity, this is already there in Quran and it is uh, in Islam and it is one of the major, you know, uh, let's say foundations of Islam, we can say. Yeah. This moral integrity not being inside with hatred is very important quality of Muslims. You know, it is sure. there. How do you think we can teach Muslims, not in, the own, in, in, in Egypt of Muslims today, but all over the world, yes. not being incited by this hatred against the Christians, whatever they are from there originally, and show yes. this and, and integrity? How do you think we can teach people to be just as Allah wants, and then uh, not be uh, incited by any hatred against other people? Right, okay. Uh, one of the beauty of Turkey, which I really love, is that uh, the religion is mixed, uh, have built tradition over the years. And this integrity is part of the teaching, which people naturally develop from family, from school, from the society. Sadly, that doesn't happen e easily these days in the Arab world. Um, the, and unfortunately, a lot of context being forgotten, uh, deliberately or uh, accidentally ignored. To go back to the integrity, to your question, I genuinely believe we have to go back to the essence of the, Cor uh, essence of the Quran. Yeah. People now, I mean, there are plenty of, schol of alleged scholars in the Arab world who teach or claim to know Quran, but they never been graduated. You never know where they come from. You never know on what basis they teach and what exactly their knowledge. I mean, the joke in Egypt that everybody now with a beard and wearing a white uh, gown uh, is a scholar, is a cleric, and he can issue a fatwa. Mm -hmm. And once he issue a fatwa, that it, it becomes sacred and uh, il, there is um, groups and tribalism so his friends and his family and um, uh, start to defend him and say it must be right because he based it on the Quran you know and I know it's not in the Quran mm -hmm. but a lot of people who are uneducated will will can take uh, believe in that so going back to your question it's based on sanctioning who who should teach Islam, who should issue fatwa. Not any, everybody can teach, and not everybody claim to be a cleric can teach. No, my, yeah, 100% right. I totally agree. Uh, my issue is Turkey is a secular country, you know. We, sure. the, we are not even like forced to, to believe anything by government at all. It sure. is not a priority or it is not a privilege if we believe in one thing or not. But 99% of the country is Muslim, and people are really good Quran holders. So yeah. we are free, we have a free will that yeah. to follow the Islam. There is no compulsion in Islam. We will come to this point as well at the end of the, the other questions as well. So sure. in Turkey, people do believe for themselves. They have a, like, a, a decent belief. They have a piety just for the sake of Allah, not for anyone else. It right. is not promoted in the society uh, uh, like this, so it is once you have a secular society like this, so people are free willing to believe, and this is the real belief Allah wants. People has to want, has to believe by for themselves, not for someone else, not sure. for because uh, 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 people wants them to believe because people, Allah doesn't want something like this. 